So if you couldn't tell, this is a gator rack from pyroboom.com. Eric sent me one of these to do a review. First impressions of this rack is that it's very well built. You'll see screws all across here as well as staples in the spacers. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you've noticed that I've moved to all space racks these days. And it is important to note there's a space here between the first shot and the sideboard. A lot of times people might put a space here, but they forget to put the space on the end. And if this tube blows, this space is gonna keep the pressure off of this sideboard and ultimately help keep the rack together. The reason this is called a gator rack is because of these teeth notches down here at the bottom of every tube. And that is also designed to help let gas escape if there was a Kato. The spacing between each shot is about an inch and a half versus the standard like three fourths inch. You can see the side rails are solid pine. This bottom board is a full piece of plywood, which is just screwed on so I could take this off if I wanted to. I because I'm a fan of the side rails myself, that also might help reduce the weight. It is pretty heavy. It's obviously perfectly manageable for a six shot rack, but it probably weighs comparable weight to my 10 shot rack. On the invoice here, it mentions fuse links. I actually got some of those on a separate order myself, and I will be doing a review on those sometime in the future. And I love the fact that they have safety tips in all their shipments. What better way to test this rack than put some shells through it? Where did I put my shells? There they are. We're going to have some fun. I got this six pack of Echo in the Ear five inch canister shells from Window Fireworks. You'll see I picked these up for $15.99 retail. Of course, fiberglass tube per six shots. Gold Willow to green with red strobe. Multicolor Dahlia with white strobe. Green Wave with crackle. Red Wave with white strobe. High Chrysanthemum and Brocade Crown. So that wad of wrapping. I threw on the ground earlier, had a mug in it. And ironically enough, I didn't break the mug. <laughs> Something else to note is this rack costs $49 and comes with the six 12 inch length DR11 tubes. As always, we're using perfect fuse, 10 seconds per foot. Because there's additional space between the shots, you will have to use a little bit more fuse. I know people always talk about that when I use space racks. Spacing is totally approximate, so really no finale plan. This shot might go really quickly here because I have it kind of over the edge of this tube. We'll see what happens. Nice break on that. I like those shells and that timing was pretty kick-ass. The rack obviously performed flawlessly as you would expect. I think the main thing I wanna do now is just send more shells through this to see how it holds up over time. I have no doubts that it's obviously gonna last for a very long time. I mentioned the rail earlier and possibly removing it. I still think I'm going to do that. But um, yeah, my biggest negative is the weight. It's probably the highest per shot count weight rack that I've personally owned, but it's super durable. The spacing is there, six shots, perfect for me for demos. I really like this rack, and of course they have it in all sorts of different shot count configurations if you want something different. Let me know what you guys think of this rack and the video as a whole in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.